Call my phone, blowing it up. Say, hey, did you see it? Did you see it? I said, see what? He said, he's a runner, Clay Thompson. He's a track star. He said, Clay Thompson just got signed, and Rick Ross is uh, the new uh, Shakari Richardson. Yep, he broke her records. So what he's happened? Wearing so, so tell me what happened. So tell he, me. What, he moonwalked out of this one. So let, tell me what happened. Let me know what your what, how you, So he was in Canada, uh-huh. thinking that he was Ricky Rose, mm-hmm. Ricky Ray, Ricky Rose, the boss, the biggest boss, but he took a loss. Because he was out there in Canada, he was playing uh, Kendrick Lamar, not like us, thinking it was sweet, and it turned sour real quick. <laughs> the OVO goons, uh, the Hell's the Angels, they jumped on him, and he sacrificed his DJ, he sacrificed his bodyguard, and he hid behind the gate, and he said, get me out of here. You, oh, and 50 Cent even commented about it, we'll show that in a second, and yeah, his DJ got uh, knocked out of socks, <laughs> and his security... Got halukin. Facts. It was a mess. We we only should, can show like a little bit of the clips because uh, that don't have the best angle because we can't show too much on YouTube. We can't show too much violence. Let's, but let's see this knockout. His hands are ready to eat for everyone. Let's see this knockout you've been talking about so much. I don't even know if this really shows it like that. Rick Ross is like, Oh, that big dude is the Hells Angel, the legend. The crowd is looking at me. They ain't chanting me. Oh yeah, they got the security guard out there by himself. There's the little DJ. He's about to get popped. Hey guys, you know, I just saw a, a very unfortunate situation that took place in Canada. And I want to say to everyone, you know, that I, um, I hope that that brother made it home safely. I hope that uh, he now has a different perspective and a better sense of what to do and what not to do while you're out in the world, you know? Um, that part where the, 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 the young guy went like, he did this little move and shit and got knocked the fuck out, like right there. That was not, that does not reflect him. That reflects his camp. And he might need to go get the, uh, the dream chasers or, um, dream chasers. <laughs> the, the dream chasers. Do you need disrespectful? Dream so you see right here, Rick Ross, Rick Ross showing off his fit after, after leaving Vancouver. So like, like my co-host was saying, man, Rick oh, Ross, but he said, don't worry. Y'all. I know y'all, y'all took a beating for me. And I ran while y'all got your teeth kicked in. But I'm getting your free wing stuff. Horrible. So if you didn't know, Rick Ro- the reason why Rick-, Rick Ross was in Vancouver was because he was at the Ignite Music Festival. Him, Walker Flocker were two of the artists that was inv- invited here to perform. You can go on the website. You'll see them all in, uh, all there. And uh, if you didn't know, I mean, it's 40 hours away driving from Toronto. So these people that came to put the fist to hands on Rick Ross... They drove a long time to come there, but if you didn't know, I mean, Rick Ross came in there to perform. He was performing. He they performed. didn't drive. They were flown. He was uh, could have flown. Yeah, most likely flown. If you didn't, uh, Rick Ross up there performing. He was performing. Stay scheming. I'm on one. Pop that. Dice pineapples. Dice pineapples. You know all the songs that him and Drake got to collab with. And then as soon as he was done, he told the DJ, "Play that new, uh, that new Kendrick." And you know, for some strange reason, the DJ played that. The uh, you know. Uh, People of the Canadian DJ had to take an L for that DJ had to take an L for that You know the people in Canada Didn't like that You know they stood up for Drake So the question is Do you think Drake sent the hit out For Rick Ross No Cause he knew Rick Ross Was gonna be there Rick Ross did that to him So or Was it just Canada He, sh- he should have known He's not safe in Canada I uh-huh. don't understand You know Care what he's doing out there If it's a festival or not And then he tries to uh, You know Try his luck you know, Oh maybe I'll win him over By doing some Drake songs Doing my hits Cause all his <laughs> hits are with Drake Pretty much, and not then, all of them, some of most them. of them, and then uh, you know he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna do uh, the whole big sneak diss at the end and play the uh, 
the Kendrick uh, song as I walk off the stage, and they're like, we ain't going. I mean, you know, they never go for that. Think about it. This is like Canada never played when it comes about Drake. You had the Pusha T situation when he was performing on stage. They all they was throwing stuff on stage with that situation. Yeah, they take his chain. Uh, they, nah, they ain't take this, take this chain. And then that's a DJ drama. DJ drama situation. He was at a music festival. He got lined up by top five of them. Uh, so I mean, and then he got. I think he got his chain. He got his uh, chain took in and got his uh, yeah, his tooth knocked out. So I mean, he got. So I mean, it's crazy up there in the Canada. They saying they not soft. Everybody out here thinking that Canada's soft. I mean, Tony A. Yo, I, I mean, they got to be tough. They got to survive those winters. <laughs> Horrible. Think they just out there being pansies. No, you be a pansy, you'll freeze to death. You got to be able to survive. Hmm. So they're not playing around. It looks like everyone was saying, how did uh, the first person to take a big L and then Drake and Kendrick be be Ricky Rose? Because Kendrick Lamar don't come Ricky out. Ricky Rose, how'd you get caught lacking Ricky Rose? Kendrick Rose-ay? Lamar don't come outside at all. What are you talking about? You ain't going to never see Kendrick Lamar again. For what was his old What years. was his old job? Officer Ricky. As a correctional Certified PO. <laughs> yeah, horrible. Parole officer. That was just a job, man. You were just hating. Everybody had a job before. But uh but I mean, not with the ops. So so forget all that. So since so since they saying that you know Rick Ross can't come to Canada, can Drake come to Miami? Can Drake come to California? Drake can go wherever he wants. We know he's Whatever. good in California according to WAC one hundred. Oh, he said Ain't nothing happening to Drake if you come to Cali. Listen, man, don't nobody listen to WAC one hundred. And nobody WAC listen to Rick run. Rose. <laughs> you gotta get tapped in with gunplay if he wants real safety. Nah, but it, I mean he couldn't go. I mean because all everybody the Rick, Rick Ross hang with is felons that got some type of charge, and you know when you go to Canada they ain't playing none of that stuff. So that's why he came up with this weak security, this weak security who got the beats put on him. But I mean, I like that the DJ was like, "What's going on? What's going on?" And, and he started playing. Uh, he started playing the Mick Mill song. Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, I thought the, I was finished as the, soon as the, as soon as the fight broke broke out. But I mean, they said that's what you po- finished it all right. That's but what they say what you're supposed to do when you're a rapper. When you're a rapper, I was like, "What happened, Ricky Rose? You get punched in the jaw, and then it's like, oh, they engaging, and they're like, wait, where's Ricky Rose going? Gone. That's what you're supposed he to do. He got behind the gates and dipped. That's what you're supposed to do when you're a rapper. What'd he you- tucked, ducked, and rolled. So think about I it. I thought he was on fire. To how quick he tucked, ducked, and rolled. <laughs> I was like, oh, did he catch on fire? Rick Ross is almost 50 years old. Would you, you you understand Mike Tyson to do all that? Mike Tyson's literally about to fight a pro fight. What are you talking about? Mike Tyson is doing all that. Try again. Uh, all right. Well, Better watch out. He'll bite your ear off, too. Nah, but I'm thinking about it. If Rick Ross would have got knocked out. or if so, I would have loved it. Or they would have snatched his chain. Or uh, what if he would have got, uh, what's that California rapper? Pop Smoke? No, not Pop Smoke. The California other one. Nipsey? No. Which California rapper? Uh, the one that was a uh, that got taken out of the Draco. festival. Oh, Draco the Ruler. Draco. When he, he got, almost got poked Draco'd. out by uh, four hundred, allegedly four hundred them and YG. I remember that. Yeah, he almost got he almost got poked out like Draco. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. But we gonna keep. He's lucky that it, yeah, because with the Hell's Angel man, you know, I didn't know how boy, so, in. so how big is Hell Hell's Angel? They like world uh, not worldwide, but is like, it just in Canada, United States wide? It was like the Bloods and the Crips and everything. I mean, they're like one of the OG biker gangs. I forget the names of all of them. There's like three or four that are like the OG that have like members all over the U.S. and Canada and maybe even Alaska. It might even be Alaska. They ride motorcycles in Alaska? In the summer. Damn. That's crazy. So they get a few months a year, but it's real nice riding up there in the country. Mm. Mm-mm. But uh, it's a big L for Ricky Rose. It's trying a big to stand L. on bitch. This is like when uh, Dave Chappelle did that skit. This was is a bigger L for around. Florida than uh, Dwayne Wade being a father. What are you? Mm-hmm. First, it's uh, like Ricky Rose getting jumped in Canada and running. You know, he moonwalked his way out of this ass whipping, and then <laughs> you know, it's it's like yeah, and then Dwayne Wade being a father. <clears throat> Which is the worst reputation for Florida? Rick, first off, Dwayne Wade is from Chicago. I want to let that be known. Number one, he is not from Miami, so you can't put that on us at all. No, no. I mean, he lived more years in Miami now than he lived in Chicago. That's a. That's probably true. That's probably true. I don't know. I, I get it. I mean, eighteen true. years. I mean, I'm pretty. He's 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 up there. So it's probably it's probably getting up there. But I mean, y'all comment down below how y'all feel about this whole Drake. Was Drake uh, putting a hit out on a Rick Ross situation? Do y'all feel like Drake really did it? Do you feel like he can go back to my, he can go back to Miami 
Or, I mean, yeah, like you said, I mean, he got security guards, so he can go back to Miami. He ain't gonna be no problem. He'll be fine. Drake got the president. He's not gonna guard. be like setting himself like this guy to get caught lacking. Disrespectful. But I, mean, I thought he knew better. I thought he knew how to play the game. He ain't know how to play the game. What happened to Maybach music? Um, but speak going from one person getting beat up to the next person about to get beat up. Oh no! It looks like oh what? we got one more troll. Shout out Drake. Oh yeah. Because he is trolling uh, the ex mother of uh, Rick Ross's child, or uh, the ex mother. Here's the ex. So basically. The mother of his child, Tia Kemp. She says, My goat, after she commented on his latest Instagram post. So if you didn't know who Tia Kemp is, Tia Kemp is one of Rick Ross's baby mothers. I mean, if you remember back in the day with the whole 50 Cent situation and her S tape, she was the one that did it. She won the lawsuit against 50 Cent, but. Like my co-host told me, like she he, she ain't get a she ain't get a dime for from it yet. Fifty Cent been dunking all the uh, lawsuits that he lost, but yeah, she commented Drake exactly. on his Instagram uh, post, and Drake commented my goat exactly. So you, you already know me. she the throat goat. She uh, horrible. You, she uh anytime she gets a chance to shit on mess on shit on Rick Ross, she gonna do it. Like she don't care him him boss man D Lo. She don't care who it is. She gonna talk about you. I mean. Right now, I think she has a she has a, a podcast or a TV show with with Blueface she, Mom. She, she be doing podcasts. She be doing appearances. She just getting on the Instagram and posting. She be doing it all. She she do it. She's a professional troll. She's a professional troll. So I mean, comment down below. How I you, mean, who knows? You know, professional hating pays. Professional Charles troll White. pays. You, hey, You're a professional hater. Whatever. No, nah, me too. Uh, but uh, anything else on uh, Rick Ross? The situation wasn't in this beef that wasn't even his beef to start it, with. It really wasn't even. It's his. like J. Cole just said, "I'm not in this. I'm just gonna take a step back." And this is why. J. And Rick Ross is like, "I'm gonna jump in this for no reason and then lose." This is why J. Cole backed out because he didn't want to have to go to you know go to Canada. Got to watch his back. Go to California. And watch his back. He want. He just want to ride his bike up and down New York. You know, mind his own business. He, he stays in New York. He's straight. And, true, and then also, uh, what what you said? You said something else. You said um, this is why J Cole backed out, and he said something else before that. I forgot. Damn, I forgot. Florida sucks. Nah, forget you. <laughs> Florida, the best place on earth. But um, enough about all that, man. We gonna see what's going on with the situation. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened. It's not. It wasn't Rick Ross beef. He only hopped in this because of the whole season uh, that. Drake's in a season and desist in French Montana for a song, but allegedly French Montana still ain't seen nothing to Drake, and allegedly they probably still cool about this. So, I mean, we all. So, why'd Rose be mad? This is like the second time Rose did this. He did this with the whole Little Wayne and Birdman situation when he jumped out the window, made a whole diss track on Birdman, and then two, three weeks later, or whatever it is, time later, you see Birdman and Little Wayne getting back together, and you just see Rick Ross looking retarded. So, I don't know. Maybe Rick Ross going to. Hold on, hold on. We ain't forget. It's 2024, Coach. Can't be throwing out the R word. Man, whatever, man. Y'all know how. You know I'm kicking it over here. You know how I think about about people. Exactly, man. But speaking, the, talk, talking about speaking about people, you know, kicking it 